East, South, West. Home really is best. I'm sick of the South West. Click, click. No ruby shoes in size nine to pick through pathways in twine like macrame. And Velcro to inclines and slip slides and board game streets. Decide to pause weary feet to understand. I'm not used to curves on me or the land. So now I'm lost. <laughs> My last night in Bristol, Gemma's hand-drawn map to the bridge is beautiful, but no use. A filigree borrowed excuse for suspending Brunel's joy. I want to echo Sydney before I leave. The opera house is clean, Lego small, but the harbour sky steals breath away and sneaks in grins. Bridges are where I feel small and where life begins or ends if you need to leave. Half my life belonged by his side. Now two years clear and starfishing a space wide as the double bed it took a year to claim back myself. I won't let anyone else origami in. Love takes up too much space and needs time to begin. And it's messy, so messy. My phone rings. I freeze time and shudder, despite friends nudging me to find another. Joyful purple spinsterhood is in delectable reach. Reading books and eating cake on Brighton Beach. Something stands before freedom. Just one thing I promised a mate. He's an astrophysicist, she said. Yeah, right. Okay, just one last date. Hello? Deep Manchester tones that soften. A gentle giant is a cliche often proved true. I recognise him. Hello, you. His face unfolds in my mind. Forehead deep and thoughtful. Sideburns find their way to silver beard. Musician's hair meets broad shoulders. Just there. Viking tall. Eloquent hands, arms lean for his frame. Oh, we've been for three coffees now in this dating game. He knows stars, maps the Milky Way, scrutinizes gamma rays. The nearest stars are light years away, yet he brings them near. Right now, he's miles away. Do I wish he were here? Where are you, he says, knowing I'm due to move. He remembers details. Something I need to improve on, like how to use the map on my phone. Then I could navigate on my own. <laughs> I'm Alice in Wonderland lost, I giggle. He can find his way between active galactic nuclei, the massive black holes in the middle of galaxies. Me? I can't even find a bridge a mile away. Tell me what you see, he says. I zoom in on trees, more trees, a bench. Oh, and a graveyard, but no street signs, I say. But it's okay. I like being lost, I think. Meandering and letting places sink in around you. Is there a pink house on the corner, he says. Is he Darren Brown? Frowning, I see it. Question marks swirl my face. How the... He sees by satellites. Spots the streets I walk ahead of my eyes. Charts hills, pubs and winding paths before I realise he knows where I am. Even when I don't. Waits patiently till I catch up. He says he's shy on the phone. But distracted by Google Maps, he relaxes into the zone. 
warm sesame oil voice dripping over my temples to soothe me. There's an ease as he talks and I walk, a quiet strength and connection that moves me. We talk of otters, guitar strings and putting up shelves. The minutiae of life, revealing ourselves in the details. I feel him here with me, hand guiding the base of my spine. Okay, confession. The first time we met, I missed him that night. I still don't understand because that can't be right. How can you miss someone you don't yet know? who might be unhinged, a dangerous weirdo, a stalker? No. I am sensible and calm. Learned martial arts to keep me from harm. Playground taunts, tattooed inside. The blonde girls who wore bras, the ones who decided who's pretty or not. They laughed and said I look like a giraffe or a boy instead. Thirty years have peeled back as I stand here lost. Thread veins, damson and blue mapping most of my skin. How do you let someone see you? Risk letting them in. No, I'm done with love. You can't lose if you're not playing. But I want to see the bridge before I leave. We trace my way past tree lines revealing more curled pathways knitting together. Walk past the cafe on your left. I do. Past the blue house. Sunflowers guard the front door. I imagine his house. I've not been there before. Full of amps and guitars. Shells on every wall. Greased Mercator map, blue tacked in the hall. Is he my pole star, waiting in the distance to guide me? Sitting patiently at the bar till I'm ready to catch up. One day, travel that far. X-rays are sourced from black holes and stars. We can't map much of the universe, just where we are. It's where we begin. Keep looking to the left, he says. I do, but I still can't see it. Stop by the post box, surely this will be it. I look at my phone, an hour he's been leading me. Now turn to the right. The sun bows and the sight suspends my breathing. Bridges are beginnings I can believe in. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. We stare at it together just so. Isambard Kingdom Brunel, how did you know? 26 meters high, you kissed the world goodbye before it was built, like a lotus blossoming from the silt of the Avon Gorge. Giraffes have the largest hearts of all land mammals, I blurt out. Without thinking, me and my big mouse. Yes, he says, and I think they're beautiful. And he gently asks if there might be an us. I hold breath, exhale, and trust in beginnings. One step, left, and then right. Atravasiamo. We've crossed over on my last night. <laughs> yes.